And here it is, guys, the local mallet fish. Ela! 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 It's honestly some of the hardest work you'll ever experience. All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We just got into beautiful Gal, southern Sri Lanka, and I am so pumped because today we are going to be having a ton of delicious southern Sri Lankan cuisine. We're going to be having a home cooked meal. Let's check it out. And just look where we are, guys. Stunningly beautiful southern Sri Lanka, right on the beach. There's all these fishing boats up here, and they're actually pulling in the lines as we speak. So we're going to get some seafood and bring it to our friends and have a big seafood southern Sri Lankan meal. Can I help? Okay, so we're gonna help pull it in. Wow, that is heavy. And you can see the line goes so far out there. And you can see Gal in the background. Incredibly beautiful here. Look at that beautiful old fort city in the back. And this is gonna be full of para, local para fish. <laughs> this is hard work. Yeah. My hobby. Your hobby? Hobby, hobby. Not job. No, hobby. Hobby, hobby, hobby. Oh, for exercise. Exercise. Sorry. For health. <laughs> wow. Oh. Hello, Ali. Hello, Ali. Hello, Ali. We're getting closer. Huh? Hello, Ali. Hello, Ali. And you can see all of the rope down there. It's getting coiled up and we're just bringing it all in. This is awesome. Oh. oh. You can see everyone just putting in so much work here. Wow. The final pull after two hours. We're here. It's finally here. It's finally here. And look at all the guys working. Let's hope there's some big ones in there. This is the net. Looking pretty empty. There's the net. Wow. There's the fish. Oh, there's a few in there, but they don't look too big. Oh, hopefully there's a couple in there worthy of eating. That is heavy. I think that's it right there. That is pretty empty looking. Just a few fish in there. I don't know if this is a good day for them or not. It's not big. It's small. We'll see what's inside. You never know. There might be some good ones in there. Oh, I think there's definitely a few in there. Judging by the feeling, it doesn't look like a really good catch. And as we stared at the catch, and what's become incredibly clear to me as we've traveled around the world, is that this earth has a huge plastic problem. And in my excitement for the fish, I didn't say anything on the spot, but after looking at this footage, it has to be said. We have to reduce our plastic consumption all over the world if we want a clean environment. Oh yeah, you can see. Wow. Here we go. There's a big one in there for sure. Oh, and here it is. Wow, that's a giant. Oh, look at that. That's a giant. What an amazing experience and all that hard work. You can see we've just got a few big ones. Just a couple. Oh, mallet. Mallet. Tasty? Very tasty? How much? Mallet. Mallet. 800 rupees for one kilo. Okay, that's a big one there. 800 rupees, one kilo. Local price. Local price. Can we buy the big one? This big, this big one? Can we buy? This big one? Yeah. Hey, oh. Oh, let's weigh it. Oh, 
Let's try and see if we can buy that one and bring it to our friends to cook. Yeah, how much? Six and a half kilo. Six and a half kilo? Five thousand two hundred rupees. Whole fish. Okay. There it is. And just look at all the fish. We're buying the biggest one from the catch, and we're gonna bring that to our local family here and cook it up. Take picture. Take picture. Oh. This side. Oh, this side. Oh. Okay. Oh, and look at that. This is our mallet. We are gonna buy this here and have a huge feast. And here it is, guys. The local mallet fish. How many kilo? Four. Uh, six, uh, six and a half. Six and a half kilo. Yeah, yeah. Curry in. Curry good. Curry is yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. To cook this with the curry. Spicy. Oh, look at that beauty right there. Wow. And we're just going to clean that. And just look at the size of that beauty. Wow. Oh, and we're just going to cut it open here. That's a huge fish. That's giant. Wow. Giant fish. Wow, and we're just slicing it up nice here. And you can see we're just slicing through it. We got the head and the back being chopped up right in the fish market here. So much selection. The catch wasn't the best today. There was just a few big ones. We bought the biggest one here and that is going to be so tasty. Those are like mallet steaks. Look at those. Big size. And look at the flesh there. That just looks like it's going to go so well with some curry. Oh, look at all those steaks. Wow. And as they're chopping up our beautiful mallet, you can see all of the beautiful, fresh, local seafood here in Gao. This is going to be one of the most delicious seafood feasts ever. And after bagging up that nice and plump mallet, we made our way out to our friend Rosena's friend's home for a huge southern Sri Lankan feast and got a look at their backyard Sri Lankan cinnamon production, used not only for spice, but also for cooking fuel, adding even more cinnamon smoky goodness into the cooking. This is just amazing, guys. We are in the car with Rosena and Ting right now to meet Rosena's friends from Southern Sri Lanka and just look out the window. Look at how green and lush and vibrant this is. Sri Lanka is just like the most gorgeous, heavenly place on earth. This is just so beautiful. So what's the plan today, Rosena? So we've been invited by people that I know and that are dear to us uh, to cook the fish head in the southern style. Southern style. Southern Sri Lankan style. Oh, what a beautiful country. We are in the south. Just so green and lush here. How are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, so this is like a traditional hut. Traditional uh, style kitchen here. Yes, traditional hut, Sri Lankan hurt. traditional hut. You don't really get this anymore, but all you have to come really deep. Really in, deep, yeah, local for yeah, this. Yeah, local for this. Wow. So yeah. it's all made with fire here. Yeah, this Firewood. is this is made of clay inside, as you can oh. see. Oh. Right? So it's like made of clay and made of cow dung. So they like because it absorbs heat. Mmm. So everything that you cook in here is very smoky and mm. very flavorful. Awesome. So the chunks of fish, they're gonna yeah. cook it in a very southern style, like with onions and vinegar and peppery okay. and chili. And the head is gonna be cooked in like a milk, like coconut milk based soup. Oh. Yeah, it's very southern, very Sri Lankan, Amazing. very yeah, old Ceylon style cooking. Old Ceylon. Old Ceylon style oh. cooking. Oh, and are these mustard seeds? Yeah, so this is also a very traditional method of, you know, grinding and blending. This is our Sri Lankan blender. Wow, and yeah. these are mustard seeds? Yeah, this is mustard seeds. So she's like, you know, grinding it. Wow. The taste is completely different. This is the pure way of getting the taste out. Oh, so the when real you, flavor. Yeah, so when you grind it this way, the oils come out perfectly as opposed to using a modern blender where it becomes liquid. Oh, this becomes a paste. Beautiful. So this is cinnamon wood. 
Really? Yeah, so this is cinnamon wood burning. So just imagine the smoke and the flavor wow. of the cinnamon wood in that pot. You put water, curry leaves, pandan leaves, chili powder, little curry powder. Wow, yeah. right over the cinnamon wood. Yeah. And then we're going to make a different one with the meat from the body of the fish, right? Yes, that is also a southern style traditional method of cooking. Oh, right here. This is the base of that. So this is the flavors, the onions, tomatoes, curry leaves, and they'll be putting capsicum in it, a little bit of ginger ginger, garlic, and pepper, and vinegar. Oh, wow, this is just incredibly stunning. And this is just stunning, guys, right from the market, right out of the water. We pulled it in for two hours, and now we're having local southern style. It smells good. Wow, and what's this here? Old school machine. Old school <laughs> scraping machine. You have to know how to do it. If not, your hand will slip. Oh, and you'll, you'll get cracked. Yeah. And what are we going to do with this coconut here? So this is, they're going to put some warm water in this and squeeze out all the milk and the oils that comes from it. And then that is what's going into the fish head. Oh, so it's super natural. Everything is natural. Super natural. Nothing is, you know, wow. fake or powder or anything. This is the real deal right yeah. here. Okay, and this is the final yes. step here? So there's more mustard that's going into the coconut milk. Oh. Yeah, so she's going to like melt it into the coconut milk before she adds it in. So that's more flavor in there, wow. like rich mustard. So yeah. rich. So that kick of mustard with the coconut milk and then the chili and the curry powder and when you're like having the soup, you'll see. Oh, I can't wait. You'll and that's going to go right over top of this fish head. Yes. Wow. Oh. That is beautiful. That's gonna make it so nice and creamy. So nice and, and slightly creamy. mustardy. And flavorful. Yeah. Oh. And with that cinnamon bark. And the cinnamon smoke. Oh wow. And even this seed's marinating now, so the fish is absorbing all that flavor, all that pepper, the mustard, the cinnamon, the curry leaves. It's now marinating because this fish. The mullet is very, it's very soft and mild, so it's absorbing all the flavor right now. Oh, wow. Oh, and here's the fish, the fish head. There it is. Oh, just look at the color of that. And as all the dishes were finishing up and being plated, Rosanna brought me to the backyard to see all of the local Sri Lankan cinnamon being dried up. So what are they doing up here? This is they're drying it. Oh, drying the cinnamon. It is so aromatic. When you yeah. walk in here, it just smells like the most potent cinnamon. Oh, and what's he doing here? Is he just like stuffing it in? So what they do is they scrape off the tree from there, mm. right? So each tree has been scraped, each tree bark has been taken, and now like he's putting it all together too. Ah. So it's rolled all together. So this is the cinnamon tree in its raw formation. So wow. he's going to scrape it. Just scraping that bark. Yeah. And it's the inside of the bark that's used? Yeah, it's inside. So they clean the top bark and then they start like slicing it or like oh, shredding yeah. it. That smells so good. And before we knew it, it was time to feast. Wow, this is just amazing. Rosanna, can you please thank everybody for their hard work for this beautiful meal? Thank you. Thank you so much. So what do we have here today? This is red rice. Oh. So our Sri Lankan version of the red rice. So that's just like from the local farms here? From the local paddy field. This is a type of yam, again very famous in southern style. Wow. It's called kiriala. Kiriala. Yeah, so it's like a root. It's a root. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's creamy? It's creamy. It's very, very creamy. Wow. So this is young jackfruit. Young jackfruit? Young jackfruit. It looks like meat. Yeah, it does look like meat. Wow. And there's lots of curry leaves and yes. dry style. Yeah, dry style. Again, a lot of pepper, cinnamon flavors and curry wow. leaves. Yeah, and this is the jackfruit seed. Jackfruit seed? Yeah, jackfruit seed. Again, they've used like black coconut in it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. And then this is the real specialty yeah, here. Yeah, this is the fish This is curry. right from the net. Yeah. We got this this morning yeah. from the beach in Gao. This is another southern style fish preparation. It's called malu embultial. Malu embutial. Yeah, so they use a lot of brindle bread in this. Oh, wow. And what type of fish is this? It's a type of tuna. It's a type of tuna. Yeah. Strong tuna. Wow. 
And then what else do we have here? So this is jackfruit. Jackfruit. Yeah, jackfruit curry. Very famous in Sri Lanka, especially in southern mm. areas. And this is umbrella. Umbrella. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a type of fruit. From the tree here. Yeah, just from the tree here. Oh wow. Yeah. And fried fish is a must. Oh. Fresh sardines. Fresh sardines. Yeah, fresh sardines fried. Oh, look at that rice. Thank you. Thank you. Red local rice. Yeah. Right from the farms. Oh, and this is the fish body here. This is the fish body made southern style with pepper and vinegar. Pepper and vinegar. And you can see the mustard seed in there too. Yeah. Ground up. They ground it up mm -hmm. with their own stone yeah. grinder. Look at that color. Look at that plate. Oh, and here comes the fish head. And they added their own homemade coconut milk in there. Yeah. So you put it on oh. top of that. That is stunning. And just that drizzle egg. that sauce yeah. on. Wow. Amazing. Is that for me? Yeah, that's for oh. you. <laughs> I can't wait to try this. Can you tell them we pulled it in? Yeah. Did you tell them we pulled it in our sauce? Yeah, we pulled it in. Got the malu. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So we should just dive in. Yeah, just take a piece take of that it. fish head. Oh, and you can just use hands and yeah. mix it with rice. Or just have it on its own. Oh. Fish head. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Oh wow. So good, oh. right? Oh. Unbelievable. Incredibly delicious. Mmm. Harima, harima rasai, harima rasai. Like slightly. Creamy and mustardy and spicy. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. Delicious. What I'm really excited to try is the body. Mm -hmm. The fish body that we got from the net today. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's got so much mustard and they yeah. topped it with that tomato onion fry, right? Yeah. Mustardy smooth beauty. Oh. Oh yum. Right? Oh, wow. That is Divine. Oh, that is just the perfect mixture there of those tomatoes and onions, the pepper, mm -hmm. the mustard, mm -hmm. that garnish that they put on top, that fried, yeah. beautiful mixture yeah. combined with the fish. Yeah. The flesh is so soft. And so much vinegar, right? Mmm. Slightly mm. sour. Oh, wow. And what's this here? This is the cooked fruit, the, the cooked, cooked umbrella. Cooked umbrella, yeah. right from the local trees here in the, the backyard. Local trees, yeah. This is really, really good. So and what's this? What's the sauce on here? What's that gravy? They use uh, palm sugar, mm. yeah, and spices so it's and sweet. everything. Yeah. Oh. Mmm. Oh, it's sweet. You can yeah. taste the palm sugar and spicy. Yeah, spicy and sour. Mm. Looks like you're biting into a, a firmer pineapple. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like a pineapple. So southern side is they mainly use sour and pepper and spice. Mm. Yeah. So that is the main flavor that you get in your palate. They're saying that uh, they feel like they didn't do enough. What? Yeah. This is like... so delicious. <laughs> mm. This is amazing. Some of the best food we've ever tasted right <laughs> here. This was honestly one of the best meals we've ever eaten. Made with so much love from these amazing people. Sri Lanka truly is a beautiful country with delicious food, friendly people, and some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. It was just amazing. I would love to know what you thought down below. Make sure to click that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And stay tuned because we have tons of amazing videos coming up. Thanks so much, guys.